Hey guys, I am back again with another Savannah Cat video, and this one is kind of just a follow-up video on the one that I had previously done maybe a week ago. This one is just kind of like a little more information, and I am sorry if I am like repeating some of it that I had put in my last week's video. I can't really remember what I had put in it and what I hadn't, but alright, so for starters... Savannah's go by F1s, F2s, and F3s, and I think it goes down to the 5s. I don't know, but what those numbers mean is, for instance, an F1 is, has about 100% exotic lineage. It's going to look way more like a serval, because a Savannah is a crossbreed between a serval and a domestic cat, and you get the Savannah. And, okay, now she's interested in the guinea pigs. Yeah, oh, her spots are darker than what they're supposed to be. I mean, they're darker in real life, not on the camera for some reason. But anyway, um, they're a crossbreed. And they weren't by threes. And that's basically what that means is that it has 100% exotic lineage to the serval. It's going to look way more like the serval than a regular cat, which means its intelligence is going to go up. Um, pretty much everything on it is going to go up. So for an F2, that means there has been one, um, one line of serval missing from the breeding. So that means it's not exactly 100%. It's probably going to be about a 75, I believe, 75%. Um, exotic lineage. It's still going to have the spots. She is a Savannah F3, and... Her spots are pro way more prominent than this. I don't get why they're not wanting to show up. Um, another thing is they're really, really green eyes. And the moment that I say that, she just has to look down. Alright, so her eyes are like leaf green. And I just can't get the camera on. There you go, you see a little bit of green. She's leaf green. Um, they have the black the black feet. Now, a savannah, I mean, not a savannah, I'm sorry, but a serval, well, a savannah, yeah, they'll do it too. But a thing about them is they will paw like 24 7, kind of like what she was doing just then. See if I can't get her to do it. She does it like 24 7. She'll walk and do it, and it kind of makes her walk weird, and they walk weird in general. They kind of like have a more shuffle to the side when they move. But anyway, they, her feet are like so big, they stretch out, and my finger can fit like in there and have more room left over but right now she's not doing it she's getting sleepy um they are known also for their teardrops that go from their eye all the way down to where the whiskers start that's another one um i've noticed a lot of savannas they have the m on the head kind of like a tabby but it goes all the way back and technically for it to be a Savannah. It has to have the shops on the back. It has to have the spots, which for some reason still just aren't wanting to show up. They look like shops, and it ticks me off. Um, some of them are going to have a short tail, like mine. They can be a few inches. I haven't really measured hers, but she looks about good two to three. They'll be that short or a medium. And the medium kind of is like just right around here. Looks a little bit better, but you know, she's really short. And hers hasn't been cut off. It's just naturally born that way. You know, some savannas have that. But their ears are going to be like huge. Hers aren't that big. So that means, well, they look pretty freaking big like that right now. But they're not that big. I can rest assured she's got small ears. But they're going to sit straight up like that. And they're going to be a little bit higher than average ear. They're going to look a little weird. And that's from the serval because the serval has huge ears since they are an African cat and they do um, hunt and that helps them to hear stuff like how, for instance, like little bugs. I don't know. They'll hear them. Uh, they're going to have the straps on the legs, the front and the back. And I found a picture just like a few minutes ago. It looks exactly like her, but it's an older cat. She kind of has like lighter spots. Since her spots are a little bit lighter, darker straps on the legs and on the back leg. Her tail is longer, but yet again, a lot of them for some reason seem to be longer. But she has the same leaf green eyes and the tear straps. And I believe that was a Savannah F3. Now, for instance... 
don't go by like the F3. If it's an F3, that means there's two generations of serval that has been taken out of the bloodline. And if there's five, that means there's four. Because the first one, for example, like I said, F1 is 100%. No matter if it says F1, that's not one generation taken out. That's just all of them together. And that just gets 100%. So F3 is probably going to be... I believe, if I can recall, it's 15-20% chance of exotic lineage, and, I mean, it's not a chance, it's gonna have that, but it's gonna have the spots to show, um, they're naturally going to be a huge cat, some of them are, most of them aren't, I mean, most of them are, some of them are not, that's what I mean, sorry, I just totally got tongue-tied there, since the serval is two feet tall, these cats, like an F1, can re get really big, and what do you think, since her feet are, like, fracking huge, she may be tall. We don't notice she. I mean, she's only four months old, and she is pretty big for her age. I mean, we have another cat that looks like her, but for us to show her, she is a tabby. Um, she was smaller than this, and she's a, this one's just bigger. But their personality, for instance, is kind of like um, probably wouldn't recommend them to first-time people or older people because they are very curious like most cats but it's more definite in them they're going to be way more active like for instance they're going to destroy your house so i have these tunnels in here and she is like torn it to shreds along with the tabby these two are going to be little buddies because they're both like destructive i mean she's kind of calmer than most cats like she's definitely calmer than her but she still gets a little rambunctious kind of um likes my pants she likes to try to pull my pants and i've seen other cat savannas do that i mean i don't know i don't have another cat that does that i have she's my fourth cat in the house right now i've had way more than that and none of them have done that they don't like try to take stuff from me especially like my pants because she apparently really loves how like kind of like some of mine kind of like fluff at the end and uh, she'll pounce for it she has a weird pounce too it's not like most cats have like have like a slight bump her back feet literally like come off the ground and then she just like jumps these speaking of jumping these cats can get to be some of them can jump seven feet i have heard that one jumped ten I think that's on YouTube. If you want to look that up, look at Savannah's jumping. I don't know. I mean, I scared her the other day by accident and she jumped two feet. And I know that's really, really low, but that wasn't even her attempting to. Like, she just raised off the ground. I mean, it could have been three. I, I didn't exactly measure it, but she jumped up and jumped over my bed. My bed's, like, huge. I thought it was kind of funny. I mean, I didn't even mean to. Scared. Alright, so if you have one or you think you have one, I would definitely watch for their personality. I know a lot of them aren't going to be as laid back as mine is. I've got pretty lucky that she hasn't to try to destroy the house yet. But I think that's entirely due to the fact that she's been fixed. She is... She got fixed a little early. Um, we didn't do it, but the vets did. And we got her at the shelter and they didn't really know what she was. I mean... At first, they lied to me saying that she she was with two other cats, okay? And they were both gray, and I knew one of them was a tabby. So I thought she was a tabby, even though I know a lot about savannas. I thought she looked like a savannah. But I wasn't 100% sure, especially since there was two others in there. But they looked nothing like her. I mean, for instance, they were both gray, and one of them had long hair. And I'm just like, uh, nope. And the other one was a marble tabby. But the other one just looked totally weird. I'm like, that has to be a fracking lie. So, um, we left, came back later because I told mom, you know, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Not literally, just figuratively. If I don't bring her, out, bring her home. So we went back and we went and got her. And I once again asked a different woman if these cats were her siblings. And she goes, you know, we don't really know. We found her. We don't know a lot about her. We don't know what she is. We just put down Tabby because she looks like one. But chances are she's not Tabby. Yeah, yeah. We know now. She's not Tabby. She's Savannah F3. And these cats are quite expensive. I can't tell you the exact price on them. I think, I believe they're more than the serval itself. I kind of think that's kind of weird since they're not the exact the serval and the serval is really really expensive cat. I think these are a little cheaper. I mean I know a serval right off the head is like 2000 
to seven thousand dollars. I've looked at the, I've looked at these things for a long time since because I have wanted one and I just got lucky. I ran across one of the breeds and didn't even mean to bring one home. So I hope this information helped you. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. And I love you guys. And if you guys have any questions or comments or any videos, please tell me to do one in the comment section. I get a lot of you guys doing that now. And I just figured I'd do a follow-up since my How to Tell If You Have a Savannah video really took off. So, bye!